here at DTU, we're doing some courses related to mechatronics, but we don't have a dedicated education within this field. So one of our discussions is, do we need to do this and how should we do this the best thing? Well, we should not reinvent something that's already done. So first of all, we wanted to look out and listen to what is happening at leading places around the world. So therefore, we're very happy to be part of this, not just this one event, but a sequence of events starting last year and continuing later this year in Malaysia. The fact that we now have an innovation economy and the students need to be really working in cross-disciplinary teams and they have to be able to work on uh, small teams that are dynamic in nature. Uh, these are not the changes that affect only the uh, uh, education in the U.S., but I think these are global changes and it is useful for uh, somebody like me working in academia in the U.S. to see how these changes are affecting the uh, educational workplace in uh, Europe, for example. I think we are going the right direction. There are still quite a few challenges that we need to address. There are still quite a few uh, disagreements. But I'm looking forward to the next event, the next conference, the next venue where we can carry on this discussion. Megatronics is becoming more and more important. We see that electronics is getting a natural part of all kinds of physical, mechanical products. So to combine this is more important than ever. And the reason is that everything will be linked up to the internet and it will make production much easier, more fast, more flexible. And I think that's extremely important that you combine the theory with the practice. And also today where speed is important in the industry, I think that too much theoretical thinking really slows down things. We need to get the, the practical part of engineering back. And I, I can hear that a lot of them are alluding to that this, is, this will be key for Megatronic. And so I think that's, that's something that uh, I, as a consumer of engineers, uh, would like to see. So National Instruments, we have customers and partners in, in multiple industries. And they're telling us that they need students who graduate, who've taken a mechatronics course. And they need students that have those interdisciplinary skills, the project-based um, skills, and communication. There was a lot of discussion going on between professors at different universities in different countries. And they have different approaches to whether they integrate mechatronics in multiple classes, you know, those, those elements of teaching, or whether they set up separate mechatronic classes and, um, and programs. Also, in, we saw the importance of the professors discussing how to teach mechatronics. You know, go over the pros and cons of these uh, methodologies and uh, technologies to use them in mechatronics education. I, I saw that as being very uh, useful today. Across the Atlantic, there's a lot of common understanding of what is actually needed. It's the cross-disciplinary competences. Now, the challenge is, how do we kind of embed that into our educations? The lessons that we learned is that we are confirmed that we are doing a lot of things right and that some of the issues that we are having and the, the, the uncertainties that we have of our problem, uh, program uh, also play with our colleagues in the international field. So one thing is absolutely clear. The, the topic of better preparing our students for a career in modern mechatronics is critical to modern industry. Um, it, the, these techniques are engaged in so many important things that, that surround our lives um, and it's really essential for the academic leaders to get together to have a frank and vigorous dialogue and to also get the input from industry and we had all of that at this meeting. Yes, I met a lot of interesting people um, having interesting ideas both in terms of concepts, in terms of education, but also technical aspects. And this is, this is something that I'm also looking for right now because we're trying to improve our labs and stuff and yeah. So I have learned uh, quite a few things here by seeing how mechatronics is being applied uh, in practice. Uh, and I hope that uh, we'll be able to disseminate this back to our own institution uh, but also to the larger uh, North American uh, educational ecosystem. We have also learned quite a bit from the industry uh, representatives uh, how the needs might be slightly different at large companies where there is still a need for uh, specialists versus smaller 
uh, startup companies where there is a need for more general education specialists in terms of mechatronics education uh, instead of very specific uh, specializations within mechanical engineering or electrical engineering.